Welcome back in. It's mid morning on WKYT. Summer break means a lot of fun in the sun and lots of snacking as well for kids, which can be unhealthy if you don't watch it. Yeah, it doesn't have to be unhealthy, though. Renee Fox, extension agent for the Nutrition Education Program at UK, is here to tell us how to snack like a superhero. Welcome. Glad to have you Hi, here. Nice to be here. <laughs> yeah, we brought you in because we saw these billboards all over town that uh, has this big wildcat, you know, uh, saying, uh, encouraging kids to snack like superheroes. So, what do superheroes eat? Yeah, they eat a lot of fruits and vegetables. <laughs> so, we have uh, some billboards on um, across town. They're really encouraging kids to, you know, fuel up with fruits and vegetables and make those part of your snacks and your daily meals. And you're really going to have a lot of energy to um, soar like a um, superhero would. Well, no research shows that children are more likely to try a new food if they help prepare it, but parents are sometimes reluctant to spend money on foods yeah. that they think are not going to be eaten. Mm -hmm. Explain that a little bit. Absolutely. And um, oftentimes when you prepare foods a different way, it really changes the flavor. Mm -hmm. So a good way to do that if you've only ever had, you know, kale sautéed, maybe trying making kale chips or um, Brussels sprouts if you've only had them boiled, try roasting them. And so oftentimes um, trying them a different way um, really might change your idea and thought process behind that. And engaging your child with you you um, in preparing that can be very beneficial. And we talk about uh, mm -hmm. kids being out of uh, school for the summer and about half of Kentucky kids mm -hmm. use free and reduced school meals mm -hmm. programs. Sometimes it's breakfast and lunch. Uh, what happens to them when the school year is out? Yeah, um, unfortunately that is it's really challenging um, but there are a lot of summer meal programs that are in place and so children who enroll in those programs will be provided with um, a nutritious meal um, and they can actually find out about that. They the USDA launched a new website where there's a map and you can enter your zip code and find out specific information about programs in your community. Um, you can also contact your local school and your local extension office for help in finding those locations as well. So what else can parents do then to encourage their kids to eat healthy? They can role model that behavior. They can eat fruits and vegetables themselves and um, when their children see them doing that, they're going to want to be just like their mom or just like their father and eat those fruits and vegetables as well. And then all of a sudden everybody's healthier, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Well, that's, it really works. That's the way to do it. We All really right. appreciate you coming in. Thank Thanks. you very Great much. To be here. Now we know more about those Wildcat billboards. We understand. Good deal.